Hi guys. Just a quick look at the uh, realistic, um, uh, what's it called? <laughs> the realistic uh, Pro 2006 uh, old school scanner from the uh, early 90s, uh, late 80s, I believe. Well, probably early 90s, early to mid 90s actually. Just a quick comparison here. Obviously, uh, the quality is a lot better on the Icon. Uh, you've got various filters and stuff to play with, but that's not the point. The point is, is it's a very nice condition radio. This is um, for the year uh, of a, a time gone by sort of era of simple scanners uh, that were scanners, not receivers. But this does a pretty good job, actually, of... Uh, receiving to be to be fair um the screen looks a bit more green in reality uh, to my eye than blue um on there for some reason it's electroluminescent the uh the display is which means uh it's um got a dimmer there which means it, it will wear eventually and, and fade over time it's probably a little bit faded near to the original but to be honest that's acceptable uh, and that is quite a nice dimmer so that's uh, it's not too bad if i was in a bright room that would be fine and i'm in a dimmer room so that's good as well uh, it looks a little bit dimmer on the in reality and a little bit green as i said but it does it seems great you know it's nice little radio i would say the bad points on these are they're quite quite convoluted to actually run uh the the not to run so it's quite convoluted uh programming system isn't very intuitive you see the icom and the bear cats and stuff very intuitive systems uh easy easy to understand even the bear cat with its um with its uh memories that you did it the uniden bear cat here with its memory system even that is intuitive when you think about it uh, but these uh these here these are not intuitive for scanners really it looks simple but it isn't um you know it's quite convoluted and you do take a while to get used to it but i mean there's no real need for a scanner like this anymore but it's just a bit of fun uh, let's just see if i can remember how to get up my um uh, can i remember uh, now that's channels uh, limit. Uh, here we go, limit. I've got the one. Now I was just scanning through there. So I can't remember how to get. And then it's got no cancel button. So if you 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 have to make a mistake to throw it off. Uh, let let me get. Um, so I've programmed this in one four four to one four seven, in twelve point five kilohertz steps. Quite sensitive, these are quite sensitive radios. Um, obviously, I've got it in a discount in the loft at the moment, uh, which helps. Um, but it would be okay with this little antenna in the top. This one's in pretty much 10 out of 10 condition, or as close as you can get, sort of nine, eight, nine and a half out of 10 or something. Really nice condition radio. This is, um, it does have a little uh, not problem, but a little bit of a let me just try to get another uh, like air band up or something. Uh, god, I can't remember. Oh, I've done it, I think I've done it. There you go. I don't know why I've pressed three there, but then on limit, yeah, this is it. This is air band. Okay, that's good. Uh, channel steps are 50 kilohertz, 5 kilohertz, 12.5 kilohertz, and that's it. Three choices. Uh, the fault on this radio, I don't know if it's a fault. Um, first of all, the squelch isn't tight enough, so that needs to be tightened up. Um, I mean, saying squelch does help with that. If you receive a signal, it's not voice. Uh, but um, the, one of the faults is if you open the squelch and leave it running, uh, it does go on and off as if it's got automatic squelch. Now, of course, it hasn't got automatic squelch. I don't know if it's a fault uh, or just the radio not receiving enough signal to put audio out. But it doesn't matter because when you're on, when you when you're receiving a signal, somebody's speaking on, and you're listening to it, it never cuts out. So it's a bit, it's a bit of a weird one. And like I said, the squelch isn't tight enough. Um, but you know, it's an old radio. I'm sure you can adjust it. But it's just I don't really scan on this anymore. It's a bit pointless. Is that not that much on um, analog? And I'm not into air, so I mean, I don't mind listening to a bit of air every now and again. But it's not really my hobby. So um, 
but it is a good air scanner. This is a really good air scanner. Uh, it's a bit limited by the 12.5 kilo steps nowadays with the 8.33 allocations and stuff, but that pretty much gets you by. Um, like I said, just for a bit of fun, just to have a quick listen and to have a piece of equipment on the bench that's, you know, um, from the sort of 90s in this nice condition. That, that's why I've got it. And it reminds me of a time where I bought um, one of these to, to get back into the hobby and I wanted to sort of test the water so I bought something cheap and it was one of these but it was the black face version which isn't the same brand realistic it isn't the same brand um, but it's the same radio uh, there is a 2004 I believe which isn't as quick it's, it's exactly the same but the scan speed oops oh god see what I mean I can't remember how to run this thing uh, limit is it limit oh, I can't um no, I can't remember how to do it. I mean, it's scanning channels now. There's nothing in the bank. Oh, what did I press? I pressed scan, didn't I? I think you press program. Program, no. Limit, here we go, here we go. See, limit three. I oh, know it's that's right, limit three, yeah. Uh, and just, oh yeah, it's good. I've got it, I remember to do it. Um, that's right, you press limit and then limit two. Oh, that's right, that's right, I've got it, I remember. It is the fault. It is the fault I was talking about. It's like it's probably just there. You go. It's like breaking up. It's like it's having a really hard time with some interference, but it doesn't do it when you've got a signal. So it doesn't really bother me. You know, it doesn't really bother me if you, when you get a signal on this. In fact, I'll put the other antenna in and we'll swap it to the um, HF antenna. Oh, I've swapped over to the HF antenna now. Uh, which I don't know if this I don't know what I've programmed those limits as actually. I think we're on limit two. So limit two. Uh, if you program if you go program limit twenty five to um no that's wrong, I haven't programmed this yet. So let's program that to lower two, that stands for lower. Uh twenty seven for instance. Um twenty seven and then let's go to the higher of two. Uh, which is going to be, um, let's just say, um, I don't know, 30. Uh, just put the decimal in, that's it. And just go to limit, and that should, um, that's it. And just press that, I think that's it, yeah, and we get there. See, when it's not receiving something, it's, it's like it's breaking up. I don't know what it is. Not sure what it is. But what we need to do here, really? Oh, here we go. If you press monitor, it puts this into a channel, and it changes that to FM mode. This is the UK. This is the UK 19. It's not bad. You know. I mean, it's a nice scanner, really. It's for the day, especially for the day. It really was a really nice scanner, really fast. You know, uh, yeah, I think it's 400 channel. It is 400 channel, but I, th I think it does 60 channels a second or something like that. And 30 on if you press speed, it turns it to slow. I don't know why you know. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, Are you still scanning? Yep. I, I can't tell the difference there. I can't, there's no indication what speed you're on either. So I say um, a little bit. That's the fault. Sound, that's the fault with the radio. It sounds like there's um, something uh, with the squelch, but it doesn't matter because when you you, you don't li listen to to that anyway, and when there's a signal, it doesn't do it. Maybe it's not quite enough signal coming through. I'm not sure, but like I said, it doesn't really matter because you're not listening to that. Uh, you either listen to a signal which never breaks up, or you've got the squelch turned up to to stop that. So it doesn't really matter, but it's just a bit bit odd. But like I said, it's an old radio. That's any sort of issue with it I've got. Um, otherwise, it's perfect, absolutely lovely, really nice. Headphone works nicely. Uh, yeah, really nice. Four hundred channels. I think you get ten banks of forty. And uh, he links up. No, the package it out. Don't need to. Yeah, you get ten banks of forty uh, channels. Um, yeah, real. It, it's not very intuitive, but it's quite simple once you once you work it out. Okay guys, that's it. Thanks for looking. Just a quick review there. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like. Thanks.